Darius the Great was the fourth king of the Achaemenid Empire, which ruled over much of the ancient world from the 6th to the 4th century BCE. Darius was born around 550 BCE to Hystaspes, a member of the royal family, and Atassa, the daughter of Cyrus the Great, the founder of the Achaemenid Empire. In this essay, we will explore Darius's life story, including his rise to power, military campaigns, administrative reforms, and legacy. Early years Darius grew up in a royal household and received an education befitting a prince. He was trained in the skills of hunting, horseback riding, and archery, as well as in the arts of diplomacy and warfare. Darius also learned to read and write in several languages, including Old Persian, Elamite, Akkadian, and Aramaic. In his early adulthood, Darius served as a local governor under his father, Hystaspes, who was a satrap, governor, of Parthia. During this time, Darius gained valuable experience in administration, taxation, and military affairs, which would serve him well in his later career. Rise to power in 522 BCE, the Achaemenid Empire was thrown into turmoil by the death of the king, Cambyses II, and a series of revolts and rebellions across the empire. Darius saw an opportunity to seize the throne for himself and began to plot his ascent to power. Darius's first step was to gather support from the Persian nobility, who were unhappy with the current state of affairs. He formed an alliance with six other nobles, known as the Seven Nobles of Persia, and together they overthrew the usurper Gamata, who had briefly taken the throne. With Gamata out of the way, Darius declared himself king and set about consolidating his power. He executed or exiled many of his rivals, including some of the Seven Nobles of Persia, and established a new system of governance based on loyalty and obedience to the king. Military campaigns Darius's reign was marked by numerous military campaigns, both to expand the empire and to put down rebellions and uprisings. His first campaign was against the Scythians, a nomadic people who lived to the north of the Black Sea. Although Darius was able to defeat the Scythians in battle, he was unable to subdue them completely and had to withdraw his forces. Darius also conducted several campaigns against Greece, which was seen as a potential threat to the Achaemenid Empire. In 490 BCE, he sent an expeditionary force under the command of his general, Datis, to punish Athens for supporting a revolt in Ionia. The Persian army landed at Marathon, but was defeated by the Athenians in a famous battle that marked a turning point in Greek history. In 480 BCE, Darius's son and successor, Xerxes I, launched a much larger invasion of Greece, which culminated in the famous battles of Thermopylae and Salamis. Although the Persians were initially successful, they were ultimately defeated by a coalition of Greek city-states led by Athens and Sparta. Administrative reforms Darius is also known for his administrative reforms, which helped to create a more efficient and centralized government. He divided the empire into 20 provinces, known as satrapies, each of which was governed by a satrap appointed by the king. The satraps were responsible for collecting taxes, maintaining order, and providing troops for the army. Darius also introduced a uniform system of weights and measures, which helped to facilitate trade and commerce throughout the empire.